Yes, you heard the title correctly. There are 10 work from home jobs that you can do with no experience and no degree. So while everyone else out there has to go to college for years, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then get years of work experience, you can land these jobs without having to go through that circus. And all of this just starts with the principle of learning in demand skills. Skills where there's high demand from companies and not enough people to fill those positions. And with a video like this, I'm really gonna try to make it as specific as I can. So by the end of the video, you know exactly what job are in demand and which ones you can land without having to sell your soul. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a chargeback specialist. And this is basically a financial specialist that researches and resolves chargebacks, right? So these are basically disputed charges on a customer's account. And basically what you're doing is you're playing a key role in maintaining financial fairness and you're preventing fraudulent activity. And this all ensures a smooth financial flow between businesses and their customers. In this position, you make about forty-four dollars to $65,000 a year. Now, you don't really need any qualifications other than the obvious, you know, like a high school diploma or at least a GED in many cases. And it's an entry-level job, doesn't require previous experience or a college degree. And the way you'd get started is by simply researching companies that are offering remote chargeback specialist positions. You can also consider taking online courses or attending workshops to learn about chargeback regulations and dispute resolution processes. And then you can highlight your research skills, attention to detail, and the ability to work independently in your resume. And yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a sports event coordinator. And believe it or not, yes, this is a remote job because you don't actually have to be at the sport events in order to coordinate them. And basically what you're going to be doing is managing the logistics of everything involved in the sport event to create an unforgettable event from start to finish. And sports coordinators make about $45,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're going to need for this are exceptional communication and interpersonal skills. You're going to be dealing with a lot of vendors and a lot of other businesses. So you have to be able to communicate with them. You also need attention to detail and organizational skills, and you're going to have to have a passion for sports and travel, which probably isn't going to be too hard for most of you. Now you're probably asking, how do I get started with this? Well, one thing you can do is volunteer or intern at local sports events. Then you can earn certifications in events management. These could include the CSEP or the Certified Special Events Professional or the CMP, which is the Certified Meeting Professional Certificate. And these can help to enhance your skills. Then you can create a portfolio showcasing your event planning skill set. Then you can start reaching out to sports teams, venues, and event planning companies for entry level positions. Then once you get your foot in the door, you keep progressing and you can get to higher level positions that pay much more. So yeah, another really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break, so I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pin comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a payroll clerk. In this position, you're basically going to process employee timesheets and tax deductions to ensure accurate and timely payments. And payroll clerks make $39,000 to $57,000 a year. So yeah, another one, really easy to land, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience in most cases. Even if it says that it requires previous experience, you can just apply anyways because that's more of just a wish list. I'll go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a financial services representative. And in this position, you basically analyze clients' financial situations and you recommend personalized financial products or services such as investments or insurance. So it's almost like you're a financial fitness coach. In this position, you make about fifty six dollars to $88,000 a year. Here's a cool example of a video where they went over the day in the life of someone who does this position. Position. And in order to get started, you could do a few things. You could take free online courses or library resources from YouTube or Google to better equip you with basic financial knowledge. You could highlight your existing basic financial knowledge. You can highlight your existing customer service experience, if any. And yes, basic jobs like, you know, being somebody who bags groceries does count as customer service experience. Then, of course, you can research the company and the financial services rep questions to shine. Then you want to start looking for financial service associate or remote financial advisor positions. And you can also consider taking online courses and certifications in finance or insurance to boost your resume. For instance, certifications such as the CFA or Chartered Financial Analyst or CFS.
CFS, Certified Fund Specialist, or the CIMA, which is the Certified Investment Management Analyst, are some that you could consider looking into to have a leg up. So yeah, this one's a really good opportunity. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an emergency support representative. And this is somebody who provides critical assistance to those who are impacted by emergencies. And these emergencies often include natural disasters. So we're talking fires, hurricanes, floods, etc. And this position must be open 24 seven. So there's opportunities during the day, the evening, as well as at night. And you make about 57 to $99,000 a year. So this one pays really good money. Now it doesn't really require any, you know, college degree or previous experience typically, but the way you'd get started with this is you'd look for job postings from disaster relief organizations and companies that partner with FEMA. Then you'd highlight your customer service experience and emphasize your empathetic nature in your resume and your cover letter. So yeah, this one's pretty good. You can make a big difference in people's lives. Also pays really well, especially considering its entry level. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10. Next is going to be a commission sales representative. Now there's a lot of different things that you could sell with this, but one of them would be IT automation and security services. And you earn commission based on signed contracts. Now here's a video of a guy who does this. And the title of the video is 60 days to 120,000 in commissions. Here's an article where someone talks about how they went from zero to over 100k per year in 18 months. So yeah, there's a lot of people who make really good money with this type of thing. And commission sales representatives in general make about 56 to $92,000 a year. This is an entry level job doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And it's actually pretty easy to land as well. So overall, I think everyone should do at least one sales job in their life. I do think the best sales job you can get started with is tech sales, which I'll put a link to some free training down in the description in the pinned comment below. Definitely check that out if you want to get into sales and break in for your first job. But with that being said, absolutely love any sales job. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10. Next is a logistics coordinator. And this is kind of the position that's the glue that keeps online shopping running smoothly, ensuring products get from warehouses to the customer's doorstep. And these supply chain superheroes make sure that everything gets to the right place at the right time as well. And logistics coordinators make about 50 to $72,000 a year. Doesn't require much previous experience or a college degree in most cases. Actually had a cousin who did this job and he had absolutely zero experience in logistics. But how to get started is you'd research logistics coordinator positions on job boards. You can consider taking online courses or attending workshops to learn about supply chain management and customer service. And you can highlight your organizational skills, communication abilities, and the ability to work independently in your resume. So yeah, pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an admissions outreach coordinator. And this is basically somebody who typically works with an online college and they help students decide on which path they want to take. And there's currently around 20 million students in college right now. So that's a lot of people trying to figure out what path they want to take. And in this position, you make about 55 to $83,000 a year. So yeah, pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this with a friend who needs to see it, somebody who needs a job, and also comment down below any of the jobs that you really liked, which ones you didn't like, or ones that I should have included on this list. And there's a good chance they'll end up in a future video. Next is going to be a reservation associate. In this position, you're basically going to be coordinating travel bookings, collaborating with vendors such as hotels and airlines, and ensuring that clients have an unforgettable travel experience. And a really good quote that I like from St. Augustine is, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only a page. And reservation associates make about 36 to $51,000 a year. Now this is one where it's very easy to break into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. It's probably a good idea to travel yourself a little bit and then familiarize yourself with common travel websites and other common tools used in the travel industry, such as Isus, Travelport, or SiteMinder. And then tailor your cover letter and your resume to showcase this experience. Also make sure you look in the job description to see what sites they want you to be familiar with. and then familiarize yourself with those sites and then put it on your resume as well. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an intake coordinator. And this is somebody who basically manages appointments, paperwork, and patient inquiries, making it perfect for those wanting to start in healthcare administration. So this is a super entry level healthcare related job. There's lots of these out there and you make about 41 to $56,000 a year. Super easy to get into it. Doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. A fun fact about this one is most of the people in this job are women about over 80 or 90 percent but yeah pretty good one i'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way i made a video that got hundreds of thousands of views on work from home jobs where you can work worldwide so you can work anywhere in the world and you can check that video out by clicking right here